couple months ago, I opened one of my uh, surveying magazines that I get. There, there's only a couple left now, um, but I, I, again, I can't remember which one it was, but I opened it and uh, there was an article or an editorial. And, and in this article, the author was, who was a land surveyor, was making the argument or the proposal that we should just eliminate physical property corner monuments and just use coordinates. You know, and, and his basic argument was, you know, it's 2023, uh, we've got GNSS now, nobody needs physical monuments anymore. We should just get rid of all those and just have coordinates for all the property corners of the world would just be a better place if we did that. So I was, I was, I was, I don't want to say I was shocked by the article, but I was surprised by it. Um, I, and I, I think, I think the author was well-intentioned, but I don't think he had carefully thought through that. And I think surveyors that take that position, um, reveal a little bit of ignorance about how the, the real property system works, at least here in the United States. So I thought it was important enough that I wanted, I wanted to explain why physical monuments are so important. And I don't think trying to replace monuments with, with coordinates in a, in a CAD drawing or a GIS database is a good idea, and I want to explain why. And uh, this, is, this video is going to be posted on our marketing channel and, and not our learning channel because I think this, this is something that... Um, that clients of surveyors should understand. Uh, so, and not just clients of surveyors, but other professionals in the real estate industry that work with surveyors, they should understand why physical monuments are important. And one, one of the things uh, that got me thinking about this besides the article was, you know, I oftentimes will have clients that want to, that will pay a lot of money, 20 or 25 or 30,000 or $50,000 for a boundary survey. And then they don't want to, they don't want to pay us a few thousand dollars to have the property corner monuments set. And I, I, I always, strongly encourage my clients to set the property corner monuments. It, you're, you're really not preserving the value of that boundary survey if, if you don't set the, the, the physical corner monuments. And I, and I think I talk about that in some other videos. We'll try and link to them here. Um, I've also, for the surveyors that are watching, I've got an article I wrote a few years ago called um, The Weight of Monument Placement. It talks about why monument placement is important, especially in our legal system here in the United States. If I can remember, uh, either I uh, I will put a link to that article in the comments sections, or I'll, we'll try and have Lori, our marketing person, do that. So, uh, I, you know, I think part of what motivate, motivated that article in the surveying magazine and, and what motivates th this kind of proposal is that, you know, the world's going through a digital transformation. And I am not a, um, I am not a, a, a critic of uh, technology or, or the digital transformation. I think it can be overhyped. But um, you know, I'm not. I'm not a luddite. <clears throat> I'm not trying to you know burn down the the uh, the uh, you know. I'm not trying to burn down the robots. I'm not scared of robots. Um, in fact, I would say I, I take pride in being what I consider a modern land surveyor. I get excited about technology. Uh, I really have enjoyed the way technology has changed surveying over my short career of 20 years. It. Technology has drastically changed the way I practice land surveying, and I think it's primarily primarily for the better. Um, <clears throat> so I have a little bit of a libertarian streak. I grew up in Northwest Montana, and I am not a a burn down the robots kind of guy. Um, so I just I thought that was important. I, I want you to understand that I am a big I am a big proponent of technology and using technology in to make to make land surveyors more productive and more effective. But I think this idea of replacing physical property corner monuments with, with coordinates is, I think it's a horrible idea, uh, to, be, to be brutally honest. Um, I think it's one of the worst ideas I've heard in land surveying. And so I wanted to, I want to take time to explain why that is. So I'm going to give you uh, four reasons why I don't think we should completely eliminate uh, physical property corner monuments with coordinate values. Now, before I say that, I do think putting a accurate geodetically uh, referenced coordinate value on property corner monuments is, is super helpful. And, and in fact, in my practice, almost every survey we do is on state plane coordinates. And we put, we, we tie to uh, uh, NGS cores. We put our, we put state plane coordinates on our control monuments and on our property core monuments. Um, so I think that's a really valuable thing to do for a lot of different reasons. I'm not going to get into that, in, into the weeds in that in this video, but I, so I'm not saying we shouldn't put coordinates on property corner monuments. 
What I'm saying is we shouldn't use coordinates as a replacement for property core monuments. So let me give you the four reasons why I feel that way. Uh, number one is landowners really need those physical marks. So, you know, your, your typical landowner or facilities manager or real estate manager, uh, they don't understand coordinate reference systems. You know, they, they, a lot of times they don't even know what a coordinate is. Um, they, you know, they may not be able to apply geometry and trigonometry. They may not be comfortable with that. Uh, they, don't, they don't understand things like geodetic datums, epic dates, or map projections, you know, to, to, to be able to properly use coordinates. You need to understand all those things. And I just want to stop here and point out for a minute that there's a lot of land surveyors that mess that stuff up. So even people in my own profession that are the purported experts uh, mess up geodetic uh, reference frames, map projections, uh, datums and epic dates. So it's, it's, it's not simple. Uh, that, that stuff can be, you know, it can be complicated. It can be complex. And so I think the, the idea that we're going to get non-surveyors to master all of that um, is, a, is a little bit preposterous, right? We can't even get our own profession to handle that, handle that properly. I was just talking to a county surveyor yesterday from, from the Sacramento area uh, who had a, 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 a surveyor, brand, brand new surveyor. He's got a, he's got a 9,000 license number, which in California is licensed in the last few years. And he went out, he's got, he set a bunch of uh, centerline monuments on a road that I'm working next to, and they're, and they're all two and a half feet out. He's got a two and a half foot bus. So, you know, it, <laughs> even land surveyors mess this stuff up. So, <clears throat> you know, I don't think it's reasonable to expect people, non-surveyors, uh, to be able to work with coordinates the way surveyors do. I just, I don't think that's practical. You know, I, I like to use my wife as an example in some of my videos. My wife is a very intelligent woman. She's a human resources specialist. She's got lots of training. Um, you know, uh, coordinates would do her no good. You know, she doesn't, she's, she, math isn't her strong, strong suit. She doesn't love math. Um, you know, just the idea that, that you're gonna hand her a, a survey plat or a deed that has coordinates in it and that she's going to be able to understand that. I just, I, I don't, I don't, you know, even people in, in with a real estate background, I, I just don't think that's going to be effective. The second reason is, you know, right now monuments are really the only physical part of, of, of our real estate system in the United States. You know, the, 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 the rest of the real estate system, the cadastral system that we have in the United States kind of exists in the ether, right? Like it's, it's, they're abstract concepts, like that are not physical, right? It's like intellectual property uh, is similar in that respect, right? So, you know, the, the, the physical property corner monument, that's the one tangible part of the, of the real property system in the United States that people can see and touch, you know, and, and I think that's important. You know, I think being able to walk a property, property owner to a monument and saying, and to tell them this is your property corner, this is your property, this is your neighbor's property. I think that's really important. Those physical marks are an important part of that. <clears throat> so, you know, one of the, one of the things I, I like to tell surveyors is I, I subscribe to the streamline theory of, of monument preservation. What does that mean? I need to do a video on that, but, but what it basically means is, um, you know, if, if you're going in to do monument preservation uh, as part of an infrastructure or construction project, you, you need, when you're done, the landowner needs to be able to pull a string line between whatever monuments you leave behind. Um, so if, if you leave a landowner in a situation where they have to apply the rules of trigonometry or geometry to figure out where the property corner is, you, you've really done them a disservice, right? If they could pull a string line between monuments before you were there, when you're gone, they, they need to be able to do the same thing. You can't always do that, but you should, I, I believe surveyors should try hard um, because you know, a landowner can do that or, or a contractor, they can go out and pull a string line between two monuments, right? If it's a straight line between the two monuments, the boundary. Um, and this idea that, that you can just hand everybody a GPS or GNSS receiver and they can go replicate that, I, I, I don't think that's, that's not true for a, for a lot of different reasons. Um, the, other, the other reason, the third reason, I think this is a bad idea, is it ignores long established legal principles um, and that's why I, th I think surveyors that propose this, most of them I don't think are boundary surveyors. And if they're boundary surveyors, they don't understand, they don't understand the law. They don't understand real estate law. You know, physical monuments have had a heavy weight in the order of controlling elements for hundreds of years. Um, uh, they're more important than direction, distance, area, or coordinates. And this is not an accident, people. Like the, the courts, 
put that kind of weight on the physical monument for good reasons, right? Over hundreds of years, uh, our legal system has come to realize that those physical marks on the ground are just relied upon in a, in a much more fundamental way than uh, measurements in, in, a, in a document, right? And I think to some extent, coordinates referenced to some geodetic datum are even more abstract than the measurements for bearing a distance. So if, you're, if you want to get rid of that, um, you're trying to throw out you know, several hundred years of case law, and I don't, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, the fourth, the fourth reason why I think this is a really bad idea, and this is the last reason, is it's just too easy to move stuff in a digital system. So you know, if, if we're only storing property boundary information and locations in in a digital form, um, it's just too easy for people to move stuff on purpose or by accident. Um, and if you're a land surveyor, you you know that, right? Like you can move lines in a CAD drawing in less than two, you know, in two mouse two mouse clicks, or maybe maybe one mouse click. So it's really easy to do that. So in fact, that's such a problem that if you're a land surveyor, a modern land surveyor, you develop a whole set of guardrails, a system of guardrails to prevent that from happening in your office, right? Uh, so when you have technicians and other people working with that data, you know, there's all kinds of extra things that we do as land surveyors to make sure that we can reliably put property lines in other other types of lines, jurisdictional boundaries and easement boundaries, consistently in the same place in a digital environment. That, that doesn't happen by accident, and it's really easy to mess that up. And we, we have to help other professionals like civil engineers and architects, uh, we have to help them not mess that up, not move stuff, because they will move stuff, right? And so, um, so this idea that we can just get rid of the physical marks and just, everything can just be on the computer, uh, yeah. I don't think I don't think it's going to work very well. Uh, it's just too easy to move stuff around in, in, in when 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 you're in a digital system. So I think this is a horrible idea. Getting rid of property corner monuments with with coordinates. Why does it get proposed? I think it's proposed because land surveyors can can become infatuated with their technology. I think that's part of it. Uh, you know, those surveyors offer technology as some kind of silver bullet solution without carefully thinking through the consequences of what they're proposing. I think this is one of those cases. Um, you know, physical property corner monuments are a really vital part of the real property system, the cadastral system in the United States. Um, they, they are a fundamental part of our, of our property rights that landowners understand. It's a tangible thing that they get, that they, that they can touch and that they can see. And replacing property corner monuments with coordinates in some GIS database, is, it's just a bad idea.